Okay, the next set of selections we need to make are regarding the type of gearbox we've got on our truck. There's, there's four options available, although the, the fourth option, this H shifter, uh, requires a steering wheel, game pad or joystick. And I don't have any of those, I use a mouse, so this isn't even available to me. So let's look at the three that are left. Here we've got simple automatic. This is the simplest driving method designed especially, but not only, for the keyboard control. Press forward to drive forward and press back to brake or reverse. The gearbox will handle everything else for you. Switching between driving forward, braking or reversing, shifting to proper gears and so on. Now this is okay, this works. Uh, this is the system I use at the moment and I recommend if you're taking a first look, if you're playing the demo, or if you've just bought the game and you're firing it up for the first time, I think this is the way to go. There's a lot to think about when you're driving your truck. Um, first and foremost, to keep it between the white lines, obviously, and make sure you don't crash into anything. But uh, being able to press forward for forward and backwards for backwards, whilst it's not perfect, sometimes you don't realise you're still on forward and you're think you're gonna go backwards and you crash into a wall or something but um, it's by double checking your selection by tapping the key uh, twice either the forward key or the backward key um, and that'll confirm what <laughs> which direction you're gonna travel in which always helps I find uh, second choice is real automatic ideal for wheel and pedal setups use buttons to switch between driving forward standing neutral or reverse then press the accelerate the pedal and let the automat handle all the rest. Handle the gear changes, which is nice. Nice and slick, I should imagine, leaving your hands free for doing other things. But uh, as I say, unfortunately, I don't have a wheel and pedals. So uh, let's check out the third choice, which is sequential gears. Manually shift gears up and down to select between forward gears, neutral, and reverse. Now, at this stage, it's worth mentioning that um, these trucks have between 12 and 16 gears, and literally, sometimes you you can find yourself shifting up or shifting down if you're climbing a hill. Uh, often, it's going to be like click rev, click rev, click rev, click rev, click rev, just to keep momentum and that's going to take up a lot of your brain power initially so uh, whilst later on in the game I would heartily recommend you try the manual gears I mean if we're uh, trying to simulate the truck driver experience this is what the majority of trucks are is uh, manual shift although automatic boxes are coming more to the fore the Ivico Stralis for instance um, brought fully automatic, or well it was semi-automatic, but there was no clutch pedal at all, it was just an electronic switch. And uh, Mercedes-Benz also, they had a similar setup. But for the most part, truck drivers are still shifting manually, and uh, this will give you a good idea of how that feels. But uh, like I say, if you're just checking it out for the first time, I can't recommend simple automatic often enough, so that's what we're going to select. The game is now configured and you can continue and change the configuration later on controller screen in options. Move mouse to the left or right to rotate the steering wheel. So it's literally just that movement there to rotate the steering wheel right and left. Use up or W to drive forward and use down or S to reverse. That's ideal for left-handed or right-handed people. So I'm right-handed so the right hand controls the mouse, therefore I use W and S to operate forward and reverse as they're on the left hand side of the keyboard. If you do it the other way around and you're left handed, so your left hand controls the mouse, you're going to use the up and down keys at the bottom right of the keyboard. Pretty straightforward. So with that said, the wizard is closed. And it'll now load up, hopefully, our profile screen. Oh no, I'm wrong. Select the city you want to start in. Okay, so this, this is going to be the home city. This is where you're going to base your 
transport enterprise. This is where your first uh, operating center will be. And for me, I'm gonna select my hometown of Cardiff and confirm selection. Do you want to walk through the tutorial? Well, no, not really. We've been through the tutorial. I'm gonna um, cover the early start when you first get into grips with the game. I'm gonna cover that in uh, subsequent videos, so I don't think we need to go through that just now. Which takes us nicely on to... I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, it's a surprise. Let's wait and see. Sorry if you heard a click there, I have to switch my mic off quick. And a frog in my throat. My aging Sony system is uh, struggling a little bit with running the recording software and the game. Oh, here we go. Look at that, that's the Millennium Stadium in Cardiff right there in the background. last you have the chance to experience your dream job <laughs> driving a truck, nice, dream job your own transportation company is now open for business but you sadly lack the money to buy a truck but now you have to work for other companies as a driver for hire your task is to safely deliver a load of potatoes to stoke stock in Canada your employers provided you with a vehicle and will cover all expenses down, I'm sure you're all right on time. Okay. So what we've just done essentially is um, we've set up our uh, profile. We're now ready to get into the game and here we are. This is the the interface. This is your pilot seat. This is where everything takes place. Uh, using numeric keys you can check out all the different cam camera views. Six, seven, whilst you're looking outside of the truck like this you see this uh, little thing at the bottom here. This tells you exactly where your mouse is. So uh, when you're reversing or close maneuvering you can be looking outside to make sure you're not going to twang anything and this will let you know where your steering wheel is which is really really handy really handy so let's get back into the cab and uh, we got loads and loads and loads of time to be talking about the controls so um, I think without further ado we'll get going and we'll chat a little bit more as we head down the road <laughs> 